Oh, mind, be at peace. This will also pass. Matto vinirgatam vishwam maye vilayam eshati. Ready, Kumbu. Let me communicate to your... In no, I have to communicate through your intellect or mind or ego, whatever you say. Communication? The real self says, I'm already one with you, so there is no need to communicate. But still we are communicating. So let us leave. Go deeper. I'm addressing to your intellect. Go deeper than the thought. So here comes the transition point. Mind merges into the real self. Now only there is one only. So that real self need not to say, Oh mind, be at peace, this will also pass. Why? You know it, why? In that state, in that state, that is the state, the seeker and a great master, Janaka, he became the master again. He also taught. But his teaching was totally full of craziness. We'll talk one day. So now see what he experiences. Word shines out of me and dissolves into me. Shines out of me. Intellect starts working, recognizing, limiting itself. Dissolves into me. The mind merges. World merges. Um, shanti, shanti, shanti. Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Om Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Bring your mind on the right hand. Bring your mind on the left hand. Raise both your palms. Place it on your eyes. Open the eyes inside. Know your experiences. Bring the hands down. How are you, David and Jerry? Um, Steve and I were just talking last night about how it's shocking to come be the first one because you're just coming out of it, but uh, very, um, very enlightening, I would call it the the analogy with the clay and the clay pot just had this meditation for me be about the balance of myself versus my intellect and ego and things like that. So it's, um, it was very, very deep, very um, different than previous ones. Beautiful. Beautiful. You see, we only need to understand. You have an understanding, you don't need anything. Wonderful. How are you, Jerry? Sir, I'm good. I um, Same, I, uh, illuminating. I, I think that when we see uh, the real self everywhere, inside and everywhere, then there's this freedom and this, this um, just this light that you see in, in everyone and yourself. You really shine, and everybody shines. Beautiful. Everybody. 
beautiful experience. How are you, Stephen and Sam? <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, I'm really good. Uh, I, I from as soon as I closed my eyes, um, I was gone. So it was. In fact, I, I remember. The false eye is gone. When you say I was gone, the false eye is gone. That is the, yes. That yeah. is. Wonderful. It was. Um, it it was a dark meditation. Um, where I saw an image of a of a woman for a split second, and then. I remember being like jarred during the meditation and I said to myself, well, when is the meditation actually going to start? And then oh. I realized I was in the meditation <laughs> and then I, I heard the bell ring that it's time out. That's basically my signal to snap out of meditation. I was like, wow, that was gone Beautiful. so fast. So Beautiful. You see what is uh, his experience? Uh, you can say that as if I lost the entire world outside, created by the mind and intellect or ego, whatever you say. Huh? We live in our limited world. Here is my honey, here is my friends, here are my enemies, here are my likes, and here are my dislikes. This is what the clay pot is. This is clay pot. And it becomes very difficult for us to break this shell. How are you, Sam? Um, I'm really good as well. Um, during the lesson, I was a little bit um, absorbed at something you said at the beginning, which is about how um, people who are often uh, very successful professionally have a lot of other problems and I think it's because um, we tend to try to control outcomes and expect a lot and all of that so I was absorbed in that but as soon as I closed my eyes I said what was that thought again and I was like eh, I don't I don't even know I couldn't think about anything Beautiful. Also, right um, and I noticed um, I was drooping my head a little bit and seeing a lot of darkness and then I would lift my head up and see all the white light and expansive space and i was just going between that and it was it was beautiful so beautiful beautiful how are you internet that was so relaxing i was not aware of my body during most of that journey and when you said to raise our hands to our eyes i i didn't know where those hands were Beautiful. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. So intellect ha or ego has dropped that limitedness of the body. This is what happens. But it doesn't mean that we lose our body. <laughs> so that too, to be honest. How are you, Kate? Morning, Grish. I'm I'm good. It felt very, very vast, and it also I. One of the things that uh, I, uh, I I don't know the word, um, but body, not body, like being aware. The body is still here, but and and I'm in the body. Yeah, but, yeah, yeah. I could see that. You know what I mean? And then, especially when I was, when we were ending the meditation, it was like, I'm already beyond the body. So like, wait a second, it, the body suddenly felt like limiting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a good, that's a good experience. How are you, Webho? Very good. Uh, it's like that, uh, I was like thinking this, like why I'm taking the baggage of all the experiences or the thoughts with me. I can leave them and then be there with me. And that That's was a good point. Yes. And it was so peaceful. I was just moving and so it's so peaceful inside then. Beautiful. 
Take your time, Terry. You see that when my master says, and it goes deeper. It took me a couple of years to go deeper. Why, why the master says, oh, mind be at peace. And when I studied other texts, and there the text says, oh, ask real self to communicate with your intellect, with your false eye, and see what happens. So there I got it. Oh, this is what my master is saying. This is what. So this week you need to see, you need to communicate at every point. No, I have no money, then what should I do? Limitedness. What the intellect should think? No, I don't have. Let me make an effort without any expectation the way the Sam has said that at the young age we have, we keep a lot of garbage inside, a lot of burden, limitedness. Who created this? The mind, intellect, or the ego. But where is the real self? Real self still says, oh, mind, be at peace, this will also pass. Whether you have a billion dollars or you have, don't have it, you have a right to be happy. You have a yes, Terry. I was waiting for you. I, uh... I felt like it was very um, simple in the beginning. And I felt like I was letting a lot, go of a lot of garbage. Good. Because as it is going, it makes me very irritable. <laughs> so I guess that must be what it is. Um, and uh, I was asking a question during in my thoughts during the talk about the breath going in and out, if you could say that it's the, that the air is going in and out of the lungs, but that's part of the, that's part of the all one thing of the material. Beautiful. Is that right? Yes. You see that? You see, last point I want to make it, Ashtavakra, who is the master in this text, did I tell you, do you remember that he is crooked? His body is deformed at eight places. He could neither sit nor stand, neither sleep. That master is teaching the Janaka, the highest journey. Wonderful. That is all for today. Thank you. We